Hello and welcome to IndiaPostLive.com, India's first live and interactive news conversation web TV. I am Prachi Jatanya. And continuing with our entrepreneur series, this week we have a very interesting venture of entrepreneurs. Uh, they, in fact, they try and uh, scout and feature up and coming and untapped sporting talent in India. They call themselves the youngest online sports magazine and they are tadpoles.in. Uh, thank you so much uh, to the team here in the studio for joining us. Uh, we have Mr. Ritwik Rudra who is the managing partner and CEO of tadpoles.in and we also have Arpit Gupta who is the co-founder of tadpoles.in. Uh, a very young team here and we are eager to know all about their entrepreneurial adventures. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Ritwik, I'll ask you, uh, how has the journey been? Uh, Tadpoles came into being uh, last year in August 2013. Right. Uh, it's going to be almost a year. Right. What have been the challenges and the rewards? Well, uh, the challenges being, uh, it's a new venture, right? It's a new concept altogether. So uh, our major challenge was actually putting it out in the market and testing how people are responding to it. And uh, the fact that we have overcome uh, most, of the, most of these challenges, so we have been getting a good response. So I think that would be a moment of triumph. We've uh, pushed ourselves for about eight months now, and hopefully another eight or ten to go. So, yeah. uh, Arpit, what is Tadpoles.in all about? Uh, how do you find that uh, untapped or scouting that kind of sporting talent in India? Because we are so focused on cricket or even football, True. but uh, trying to look beyond that. India has been a cricketing nation all throughout. So now it's very important for these upcoming talent to be showcased. They don't get any kind of recognition. They don't. Nobody knows about them. It's very important because India has been. India has vast amount of talent in, uh, when it comes to sports. Not just in sports, other things also. But when it comes to sports, India is uh, ex excelling right now. So I mean, it's very important to pick up these people and showcase it to the masses, so people know about them. They also get encouraged about their games. Right. And what are the kind of people so far you featured, uh, Ritwik? Uh, what have been the kind of sporting talents that you've been able to look beyond and showcase on tattoos? Right. I mean, taking uh, forward from Arpit just said, I mean, India has been a cricketing nation, right? So the main idea was to showcase people that there's a lot more sporting talent available in this country other than just cricket. Because cricket has already gotten itself a platform uh, through the IPL. Yeah. So what about the rest? And like he said, there is immense amount of potential in this country. So our idea was uh, to treat our website not as a sports magazine, but a sports platform for these youngsters, right? And uh, that's what we essentially focused on. So finding these uh, talents uh, was, I mean, so we set out our entire reporter base. Like I said, I mean, there's an entire stringer network of about 60 reporters spread all across India. So we find kids in schools, we find kids in colleges, we find kids in academies kids who are excelling, but uh, they haven't really gotten that uh, platform to showcase their talent to the world. Because uh, if you actually uh, dig deep, these kids are, like I'm repeating this, but they're immensely talented, right? So that's what we did. We got in touch with schools, we got in touch with colleges, we got in touch with academies, and we brought these uh, youngsters out. And uh, then we feature them on the website, and uh, I think uh, you can get testimonials from these youngsters as well, how they feel. Right. So that's right. about it. We'll try and get a testimonial. We have a very interesting person joining us from Singapore. We have Abneet Bharti joining us. Uh, he's a footballer. Uh, thank you so much, Abneet, for joining us. Uh, you are just about uh, 15 years old now and uh, already, you know, uh, gaining accolades for your achievements in football. Uh, what has yeah. it been like uh, to actually get featured on Tadpoles, and how did you find out about them? Well, it, first of all, it, um, it feels really great when people start um, appreciating your efforts, what you do. And I think Tadpole has done that. Uh, it's provided me with a perfect platform to uh, showcase my abilities. You know, and I hope they've done it for other uh, aspiring uh, athletes like me. And how does it feel to actually give uh, recognition or uh, to get recognition uh, and to be acknowledged uh, for, uh, for a talent that, uh, you know, India really always uh, sort of uh, gets overshadowed by th the cricketing uh, legends and the sports persons that we have, uh, the kind of glamour associated with cricket, but you're, in, you're actually playing soccer, you're playing football and in Singapore. So what is it yeah. like? How difficult or easy has it been? Uh, well, it's been a kind of a difficult path. Um, it's a different city, it's a different country. Um, and you know, football is uh, football's getting there. Like, it's giving a huge competition to cricket. And for me, I hope the journey continues. And I'll thank Tatko for contacting me and writing a feature article about me. Right. And what was the reaction of family and friends when they read uh, your article uh, in Tadpoles? Was that your first media interview, so to say? 
no, it wasn't my first media interview, but still my parents were really proud. My friends were happy and I got massive support due to the article. Great, great. Great. Uh, I'll also uh, get uh, Inayat Gill, who's an athlete, joining us uh, from New Delhi. Thank you so much, Inayat, and uh, kudos to you and Abneet for, uh, you know, showcasing uh, your talent at such a young age in the sports arena. Uh, Inayat, you are an athlete. Uh, in fact, uh, you are also into 100 meters and the long jump, and you've made uh, a name for yourself, not only in Delhi, but all over India. And and uh, what has been the experience like and getting featured on tadpoles and actually being an athlete and a sports person in India? I believe her audio has a bit of a problem, Inayat, I think. Can you just check your mic? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, please. Yeah, being featured on tadpoles is great since I've never actually done a media interview before. So it's a very different experience. But as you asked about how it is to be an athlete in India, it's great, but it, it's not given as much exposure as it should be because not, not everyone in India thinks of athletics as a spectator sport. Like if you go for a different, if I go for a different sports meet, I'll see a lot of people there. But if I, if I go for my meets, there are only the participants. There's no one else. So it's not given that much importance. Right. Um, I'll just uh, bring in Ritwik here. So like he, she's, you know, Inayat and Abneet are both pointing out, of course, Abneet definitely has a wider, uh, you know, arena there. He has so Absolutely. much scope in Singapore because Absolutely. sports has that much of coverage. But like Inayat is pointing out, what have been your experiences while interacting with this kind of young talent about the lack of facilities, the lack of sponsorships in India for sports? Exactly. I mean, uh, if you uh, read most of our interviews, I mean, most of these athletes are actually pointing out that... Uh, there isn't much exposure, I mean, going with what I just said, so I'd like to concur with her. And this has exactly been the response. They've been uh, telling us about lack of government support, lack of uh, private sector support. So uh, we've, I mean, we're trying to play our part in that, right? So the idea is to get these kids out there so that people actually know about them. I'm not saying that there aren't private uh, uh, area, I mean, private bodies who aren't willing to uh, back these kids, but the idea is to get these kids out there so that these private bodies know about them. Because uh, let's face it, I mean, the government is a little slow when it comes to reacting to this. But uh, right now and so and forth, I mean, this support is growing. But uh, if this nexus of the government and the private, both of them actually come forward and start supporting these kids, then they will reach where they want to reach. Like Abneet is in Singapore. So he is, I mean, he has gained quite, quite a bit and obviously has a long way to go. But Inayat has just graduated from school. And uh, we want these kids who are into sports we don't want them to let go of sports because most of these kids uh, want to let go of sports because they don't see a future. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. We want them to continue with their fighting spirit because they have been passionately doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. So uh, the idea is to support them, bolster their spirit so that they just don't let go of it. Mm -hmm. Because by the end of the day, we see a lot of sports persons and not only young ones, we have a lot of seasoned sports persons in India who are completely fed up with the system mm -hmm. and they want to just leave it and move on with something else. But these are kids, right? I mean, they're like us, they're my age. So I don't want my peers to go through, say, what uh, a Sayyad Dhanraj pillar went through because he didn't really have such facilities. Mm -hmm. So I want to stand by them. I want to be their support pillar. So precisely why Tadpoles being that platform, our idea is to get these kids out there so that not only the private people, not only the government people, but other Indians can just come forward and support their cause mm -hmm. so that they don't, you know, let their spirit fizzle out. Right. So that's the goal. And you can see on your screens, we are playing uh, our video and various images uh, through the tadpoles.in website uh, of the various uh, initiatives and the kind of articles they have featured of the sporting talent that they are actually giving exposure to, giving a platform and a voice to. Uh, I'll just bring in Arpit, let's you know change the scope of the discussion a little bit and talk about how tadpoles came about. What's the journey been like? Uh, you two know each other, you've been school friends. Oh, yeah, we, Why did the idea come about for a website? See, we guys were school friends, we guys know each other since class 4, I think. So, and since then we've been together, uh, in college, during college, uh, once we completed our school, we guys started doing football tournaments together at my farm. So, and uh, we guys kept, kept doing it for about two, three years then. And we guys still continue some, uh, like, like last year we guys had a tournament, you guys haven't done it this year. But uh, that, that was the time when we guys thought of giving a little more uh, to the people who come there. Mm -hmm. So, we guys started of uh, rec recording the matches and uh, viewing, um, the showcasing them live. But then eventually we came on to the idea where we could pick up young talent and sh showcase them because they're the ones who actually need 
to be showcased. Mm. They are the ones who aren't getting any support. They are the ones who, Correct. as he said, fizzling out of their uh, spirits. And you feel that the media exposure, it, once exactly. you know, it gets, it'll bring in more support. It'll bring in more support through every side. Maybe right. the government, he, they build up facilities. Private people, as he said, build up facilities for them. People start sponsoring these players, give them some probably monetary sponsorship mm -hmm. or some sporting goods that many people yes, can't afford. Of course. So that's how, I mean, we guys want them to be showcased and get recognized so that uh, their it, talent is exactly honored. and that's how we guys came into being like I think last year only uh, while uh, doing the tournaments right uh, Rithwik, very world. quickly uh, I just wanted to know why call it tadpoles and what about the resources because both of you are so young right. where does the money come into you know launch such a good or big initiative right. and being entrepreneurs at just 23 right so uh, I mean the first part I mean why tadpoles right so uh, a it's because started by young people right so and B because it's for young people so I mean we were just someday you know I mean someday we were just brainstorming of what do we call it what do we call it we need to come up with a sports uh, magazine we want to be different you know I mean that entire but rush not because have a sports connected mm, exactly it, ha it had to be something refreshing right. and uh, we were like you know oozing with uh, I mean <laughs> that enthusiasm Maybe. and ideas because we were like like you said we were just, and we started this when we were 22 even younger so uh, a year back so then we just said, why not call it tadpoles? Because it signifies something young, something fresh, something new, and the fact that it connects very well with us and our target audience. Mm -hmm. So hence, we called it tadpoles. And be the resources, I wouldn't say it's been uh, easy. It's been quite difficult. Touch with other school friends. We kind of told them that this is what we want to do. Let's get, in, let's get together. Let's pull in whatever resources that we have. Mm -hmm. And let's just kickstart this because we need to take that leap after a particular point in time because uh, a we were confident about what we were doing so initially we did our homework about we will not create something which is already out there right so we will not follow the me too principle we will do something which is completely unique in its own way and uh, once we had that in place and uh, i think like they say once you uh, are doing something and things just follow uh, yeah so things just started falling in place and uh, We've pulled it through for so many months and hopefully we'll have more to go. Right, right. I'll just bring in Komal Sharma. She's a sub-editor at Tadpoles.in. Thank you so much, Komal, for being patient and joining us at the conversation on India Post Live. Uh, Komal, if you can hear me. Okay, I'll just get in Aninda. Unfortunately, Komal's connection has a bit of a problem. Uh, Aninda, thank you so much for joining us at the conversation. Thanks, what has been your experience like working for Tadpoles? Yeah, I've been considering Tadpoles for six months now. I was with Hindustan Times and Times of India for maybe. Yeah, it's good to see that uh, Tadpoles, it is not a typical news group. You used to element where you have, to, you have the filing story. Before. And it's also surprising to see that such a vast plethora of talent goes unnoticed. I, mean, I don't understand how new person channels miss out talents. India has a, has a pool of talent that goes unnoticed. And after joining me, after joining Tap Post, I learned that they are really good and they need the coverage that they, that they are getting right now. Too. So, yeah, all right. Me, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I, 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 Okay, I'll just I'll just bring in Komal at this point. Uh, Komal, you're listening into the entire discussion. Where is uh, ideas being talked about, Komal? But uh, uh, as a sub editor, uh, how is it like working? It's a different atmosphere. A lot of young people. All of you are very young, bus you know, bustling with ideas and thoughts. Uh, how do you go about uh, featuring this young talent? Uh, what kind of you know uh, sources do you tap into, or how do you find out about uh, these young sportsmen and sportswomen? Uh, well, it's uh, it's been as Vivek and Arpit has been saying, you know, that we talk to schools, we talk to colleges, and I think we have so much of talent in this nation that it's you just go the right way. You need to talk to one school, and they themselves would suggest so many, you know, sports persons been doing exceptionally well at the international level. Like in Ayatan Abneet, it wasn't tough, you know, we just contacted a person from Aston Valley and we found them. I think the biggest distraction of featuring them is the reaction you get from the persons more than the people who feed about them. Because, you know, they tell us, oh, well, we've been doing so well and nobody talks about us. 
people are just interested in cricketers. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to know what an athlete, what a footballer, or what a swimmer is doing. And trust me, the kind of uh, you know, uh, know about that. Sit back and you say, okay, I featured a person, you know, who has more than 300 medals. So it's not I just need to find a way, which I guess we have. Now we just need to make sure, you know, that we follow it and to everybody from India. Right, right. Uh, and uh, Ritwik has been saying that you have a very young team, of course, yeah. with a young target audience. Yeah. Uh, what about, uh, you know, trying to uh, uh, tap into social media? How do you advertise and publicize about the fact that you have a new venture called Tadpoles? Right. So we have a social media team working with us. Uh, there are about two mem members who are within the office. And we have another uh, set of three people who are uh, working from the outside. So uh, it's a group of these five people. So. Uh, Ale, I mean, it's a new venture, right? So there is, there are plus points and there are negative points about putting it out there. So the negative points being people are a little skeptical about what it is, what it's about. So that kind of drives their curiosity to know. And then that kind of, uh, I mean, becomes a plus point for us. So in, in social media, if you actually notice, there are 1,001 news agencies talking about the same thing when it comes to sports, right? So uh, when, we're, when, when, it's, when a small organization comes in and tells you, come, read our content because we promise you that you will find something that you have never read before. Mm -hmm. And judge for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Come in. I mean, we're not into that heavy phase where we're heavily marketing our product because we know that we're already doing something good. We are making a difference. Mm -hmm. So, and if you actually share it with the audience out there, they respond well. They're responding well because A, this refreshing nature in, in the field of sports journalism mm -hmm. is something which is being accepted by the people, right? right? Because I believe, this is my assumption, that they're jaded, you know, by, like I said, yes. so many sports agencies just talking about the same thing. Each and every Twitter handle, each and every Facebook handle is talking about live scores. Now the World Cup is going on. I mean, it's a big event. All it's controversies. The world. Exactly. It's the right. big event. And then, like you said, gossip, controversies. There is an entire segment which is going unnoticed. Mm -hmm. And the people are responding because they feel right. I mean, there is so much. And how is social media playing an important role is because Agneet got in touch with us through our Facebook page. He said, wow, I really like what you guys are doing. These are my achievements. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel that uh, why don't you guys write a feature about me? And we said, why not? Because this is how we're growing. And this is exactly how we've risen from one level to another. Because mm -hmm. social media has played an important role. It helps us connecting with not only our readers, who have shown a lot of support precisely why they are the ones who are driving our confidence. They mm -hmm. are the ones who are driving us forward. And secondly, these kids, I mean, the sports persons in sports, I mean, the men and women. So they are connecting with us through social media as well. And there again, I mean, this is yeah. an entire ripple effect which happens in social media. So it has been giving us good response when it comes to And that, personally yeah. speaking, you know, you all spoke that you all have been childhood friends, passionate about sports individually, you know, yeah. golfing, whether it was football. Yeah. Um, how did families react? Because you're so young. Wouldn't they want to want you to pursue higher studies, maybe go abroad oh, yeah. or take <laughs> oh, up yeah. sports yeah. full time? Oh, yeah. I mean, pulling in your personal savings and starting a website. Exactly. Did they think really it was just a before. summer? You exactly. Know, I mean, initially, fad. yeah. Exactly. My parents were actually like, "Okay, it'll be a summer thing. You'll be done with it in two months." But then, uh, look beyond it. Exactly. <laughs> so we said, "No." I mean, we have pooled in resources. There is. Uh, there are veterans from the media agency who have started joining hands with us because they do see some potential in this right. and we want to go ahead with this. And I think any parent would because uh, I graduated from GD Goenka, both of us did. Then I went to Hindu, did my physics honors. And then my parents were like, okay, you studied physics. You wanted to be a professor at a point in time, but now you're running a sports <laughs> sure, website. Right. There is a lot of disconnect. Why do you want to do this? But both of us actually, right since, uh, right when we graduated school, we had this urge, you know, that we want to do something of our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I think every youngster goes through that. I mean, there's this whole euphoria and, uh, you know, uh, they're high on, high on adrenaline that, yes, we, we are going to change the world. That's okay. it. We've made it. We're going to change the world completely. But then soon, uh, once both of us put ourselves out there, we started this entire thing. So then reality hits you with a brick. And then it tells you, no, it, it does not happen overnight. It takes time. Okay. You can't just do it by yourselves. You need other yeah. people with you. And we've built our team and uh, they're brilliant. I mean, whatever we've been doing is because of this team. And of course, the sports persons out there. I mean, uh, they're the ones who are actually doing most of the efforts. So uh, all of us got together and then we've been, you know, I mean, it's a, we every evening we have a brainstorming session because we're a young team. So interacting ideas with each other, you know, trying and tr experimenting with new things and this constant experimentation keeps happening and precisely why we're here where yeah. we are. Yeah. Arpit, I wanted to know uh, what about beyond this, you know, financially a startup 
an entrepreneur venture needs to sustain beyond one year you know a long term hmm. plan do your parents or do others who are guiding you you know do they ask you how about looking beyond this you know will you be able to make profits will you Definitely. get advertisements that's, on your website that's been a uh, point of concern for every parent obviously even they they want us to make money we ourselves want us to make money so obviously it's going to take time but we know we if we we're, we're doing the right thing it's it might take a little while but we definitely going to get that right but are you looking at any kind of investors we certainly are we certainly have been speaking to a couple of people and we we will continue to till we get our uh, good yeah let's see i mean we've been having a first round of talks we've had first round of talks with quite a few venture capitalists and they have shown keen interest yeah they have shown keen and interest and other than that uh, media veterans have also shown keen interest so like he said as long as we're doing something just do it the means will follow so That's and you have very interesting features because I looked at the website. There's something called Girl Power Grasshoppers. I'll try and see if I can get uh, Komal back on. Uh, Komal, um, yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah, could you tell me a little bit about Grasshoppers, the tadpole tracker? What are these interesting uh, features about? All right, the tadpole tracker thing is basically people who come to us and tell us about a particular tadpole. Like you know, like you know, the about some. Oh, I think we have a bit of a network problem, but I'll just get a quick word from Abneet here. Abneet, what is the difference between the kind of media coverage that sports people get in Singapore vis-a-vis -vis what you've seen in uh, the kind of coverage that uh, sports person and the talent in India gets? Um, in Singapore, it's not world class, but certainly it's better than India. Uh, Singapore is also not that good as football in India. Uh, not that good at football, same as in India. But certainly, it's more organized, and almost every if you're doing well, you're gonna get recognized. And that is uh, where India lacks. There are many um, good players or athletes in India who are doing exceptionally well, but nobody knows that knows them. And then at the end, they quit. In Singapore, they try to not let them happen, and I'm sure tadpoles are also trying to do the same. Uh, they're probably, yeah. Yeah, I'll just get in uh, Inayat also. Inayat, uh, you're looking at now juggling studies and the Junior Asian Athletics Championships. Uh, how, uh, what has been uh, the experience like? Or if you could share some kind of personal anecdotes uh, of trying to be a good sports person and get recognized in India at such a young age. See, uh, it's very tough, especially like I told uh, Komal. Uh, when she asked me these questions, I told her that it's very tough if you're from one of the northern states in India because the facilities here aren't as good as they are in southern India. Like they have the PT Usha school there. When I go for competitions, and if they're held in South India, you have to see the way they're organized. Everything goes on time. Everything moves well. Everything is organized well. But if you come for one of the competitions here, you will be sitting. There will be athletes sitting from eight in the morning. To in the evening not knowing when their events are happening they'll be tired before the events happen so being from one of these one of the northern states is very tough and especially juggling things juggling studies with my sports and school is also very very tough like um when i started athletics i met one of the very one of a very important name in the sports field which i wouldn't like to take right now but uh when i met him i went with my parents and we asked him for a coach and he asked me which school I was from. So I told him I'm from Vassan Valley, and he said, "You know what? You're from one of the bigger schools, and you guys can't handle sports and studies at the same time. So why don't you just leave it?" That was the first thing someone from the field said to me. So I don't think it's very easy unless you push yourself. And yeah. And what 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 would be the word of advice you would give to young athletes, especially athletes? I say because I've been an athlete, and one of the reasons I gave up was. Similarly, their lack of facilities or encouragement. You know, you're always told to pursue professional courses or your higher studies. So, career seems to be uh, taking, you know, um, a priority over sports. What would be the one word of advice you'd give to somebody as young as yourself to try and pursue their dreams in sports? Look, career is something that I think of five, maybe six years, or maybe eight years down the line. I have a lot of time. I have to study. I have to do my post grad. But during this time, I can carry on with my sports. I don't need to think, what am I going to do ten years from now? So if you're interested in interested in something, you have a passion for something, then follow it. Don't give up because you don't have the facilities. You'll find a way. If you can push yourself to find a way, you'll manage. Great, great. Thank you so much, Inayat and Abneet. 
I'll let you guys carry on for joining us on the conversation at India Post Live. Do take the conversation forward and share your views and ideas on what you think of this very interesting entrepreneur venture, the tadpoles.in, on our Twitter handle at the rate India Post Live and our website indiapostlive.com. And if you have such interesting entrepreneurial ventures or startups that you'd like to feature and talk to us about, do share your ideas. Before we go, uh, we'll just get one final word. Any interesting experience you've had, you know, like Inayat shared a personal kind of an experience that, you know, somebody from the sports arena, but anybody from the journalism arena or from the web portal arena whom you met or any kind of personal experience, uh, probably that turned out to be, you know, a challenge or, or a deal breaker or a deal maker for you. Uh, like I said, I mean, when you're dealing with something new and you put it out there, you will not just find one, but many people telling you that this is not good enough. Why would you feature young people? But then after a particular point in time, you need to tell yourself that no. And in a way, believe tell the it. other person, believe in your thing and just keep moving forward. And like I say, I mean, if you have something which is actually good, and as long as you're doing something different as well as making a difference, means will follow. So challenges were there. People were continuously telling us that what you're doing is, I mean, not going to work. Not going to work. But I mean, all I have to say to them is we've lost 10 months. I mean, we'll probably be there for 10 more. Right. Definitely. Yes, right, right. Great. And any future plans that we'd Arpit, that you'd like to share with our viewers? We guys are delving into other uh, areas in the sports also, like mm, probably uh, giving out some goods in uh, e-commerce a little. Right. So we're, let's see. We guys have a little bit plans in your in the pipeline. Yeah, in the pipeline. Exactly. Great. Would you like to share your Facebook page and your uh, web URL with our viewers who have joined us? Uh, right. So uh, tadpoles is uh, www.tadpoles.in, and uh, my Facebook page is uh, it's facebookcom one and uh, you can also connect with us on uh, Facebook, which is the tadpoles page on Facebook and the Twitter handle. So I mean, if you have. Uh, any sporting talent that you guys are in uh, touch with, please let us know. If you are a budding sports person, please let us know. We'll get you, we'll get in touch with you shortly. And uh, that's about it. I great, mean, great, yeah. and Kudos great to, to have the sports persons. Yeah. Yes, most definitely. And uh, good luck and best wishes for this great venture, tadpoles. In do check out their website and very interesting videos and people they featured not only in the arena of boxing, wrestling, but also different track and field events and athletics. And you've also seen a very interesting footballer joining us, uh, Abneet from Singapore. So lots of young talent and very interesting, inspiring stories. They are also keeping in touch with a lot of sports NGOs who give them uh, this kind of a push and, and motivation to try and feature a lot of young talent which has not been featured or written about. Uh, do put in your comments and I thank all our uh, guests here in the studio, Ritwik and Arpit for their uh, great conversation and ideas and also Inayat, Komal uh, and uh, Anindra and uh, also uh, Abneet Bharti for joining us. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for many more interesting conversations on IndiaPostLive.com. Goodbye.